Welcome to Yukanic. Today here in Yukanic we have a 2018 Toyota RAV4 and um, we've got the check engine light on and so we're going to check what the uh, the light is telling us and and see um, if we can fix that. So I have an OBD2 scanner hooked up. This is Yukanic OBD2 scanner and we're going to enter check the diagnostic it's going to communicate with the ECU and then we're gonna we have our engine light on now we're gonna read the codes the stored codes and we have the camshaft position sensor B circuit is high so something is going on with the camshaft position and so we're gonna double check that and and see what we've got there so, and that's a P0368 for the camshaft position sensor B. So on this vehicle, this is a 2.5 motor of the Toyota RAV, and um, this has two sensors, or camshaft position sensors. Um, this is camshaft position sensor B, and camshaft position sensor A is right back here. So we'll just pop this cover off. Right, so we've got position sensor A, or position sensor A, position sensor B, and so that was telling us that something is wrong with this cam, potentially, or we just happen to have a bad sensor. So if you happen to have a bad sensor, or a place to start with is to just replace this sensor, and see what happens after that. So you'll replace the sensor, then you'll clear the code and then you'll drive for a few days and come back and see if that code doesn't come back on. Sensors can go bad. There could also be other issues and other diagnostic that would need to be taken care of. But in this case, it, um, we're gonna start with the position sensor. So you're gonna squeeze this clamp together and just pull it up. And that's how you can unclamp it. And the same procedure goes for camshaft position sensor A. And but this we're gonna do the B, and then you'll need a size 10 millimeter to undo that, and then you will just move the sensor a little bit back and forth to be able to get it to come out. And so this is the removal of the camshaft position sensor. Then you'll just get a new one to put in there. So you'll just take your new camshaft position sensor and place it back, or place it in there. I put a little bit of oil on the O-ring so that it'll go in there and just kind of rotate it and be able to get that O-ring to go in and so that you don't pinch it under this clamp. Once it's installed, then you'll Put the screw in. Just snug, doesn't need to be crazy. And then make sure you snap your connector back on. And then you can put your uh, cover plate on your engine. And now we'll go and clear the code and see and then we would check down the road a couple days and see if the light comes back on and we would go ahead and check that light again and see what it is if it happens to be the camshaft position sensor on the B again well then we know there's maybe something else we've got to look at um, if it doesn't come then we knew that it was the sensor and sensors are an easy thing to start with when the sensor goes bad and just to, to roll out that the sensor isn't, hasn't gone bad or did go bad, you would just simply replace that. So in this case, that's what we did, is we replaced the camshaft position sensor on the B. Um, if the A, we would do it the same on the camshaft A and you know, run it for a few days and see whether it comes back on or not. So we have the key in the on position, but the vehicle not started. And now we're going to 
um, just erase the code. Yes, and it says our erase is done. We can exit out, and now we can start and see that that engine light is off. Now, you still are gonna have to run the car more than one cycle. You know, you could start it and, and see how it goes. But you're gonna need to run it more than one cycle, sometimes a few days, to make sure that that was fully what needed to be replaced. Um, thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.